Paging Dr. Wise. Paging Dr. Wise. Paging Dr. Wise. Now, this was something that was posted in the Isle official Discord server a couple hours ago, actually. And the image was attached right here, leading into a bioluminescent creature, apparently in a very dark area, and or this is looking on the back of a creature into the night sky, from what I can see because of the stars. And we're starting off this video in a very weird way. What is this creature? And what is the purpose of Dr. Wise? If this is even a person. Now, looking down through the Isles Discord server, I have not seen too much about this reveal. Arcaria, you suck. But anyways, no, I haven't really seen that much about it. Nobody really understands what this is. I had one DM actually come up saying that they believe this is the spine of the Neurospino, which I have my doubts, but at the same time, I mean, you do see the individual spines, as you can see, they're cordoned off, and it would make sense from the mass and the size of this creature and how it looks with these lines right here on the veins for it to be a neurosprain, because looking at the back of the neurospino, and then looking right here and then into the night sky, you have your slight camera tilt going up. To me, while it, I don't think it's confirmed that it has bioluminescence, but to me, it could possibly be a neurontonic strain. However, I find that unlikely. I don't see them having something that, like like that, basically completed just yet. It's that's that's just if they do, well then they've been working like crazy, especially after the developer break they went on. I have serious doubts they've gotten into that level of the game's creation yet when it comes to another final creature, one of the final creatures of the game. An end game boss, more or less, is, what is that's what I would compare this to. Now, looking at other artwork, though, such as various art pieces from Tapwing, and you do see this exact same kind of bioluminescence right here, the glow. It's green this time, and you see the same spine structure that's on the back of the creature that we have a screenshot of from the developers. And again, right here, we see that same bioluminescence going down through it and the spines once again. However, they are more dramatic and more cut off, if that makes sense to you guys. So I'm at a crossroads of life. I am 50-50 on whether this is the reveal of the Neurospino or if this is another creature we won't know until we see more, or possibly even hear more. I haven't heard anything back from Dondi about this, but I'm sure whatever this is, it's going to be revealed in the very near future. So the idea of it being a Neurospino is groundbreaking for a lot of reasons, because one, it is the first time we will ever see another strain besides the Hypo strain put into the aisle. It also means a whole host of new abilities for creatures, such as the Neurostrain, to try and use, and use to their advantage, when they hunt you down. Now some people are saying right now in the comments section, but wait, the Hypo Serain doesn't have its special abilities yet. Well, that's where you're wrong, because the Hypo already has some of its capability, if not, well, I guess not all of it, some of it, for sure. But the Hypo, remember, it's only supposed to have a lot more health and do a lot more damage. It already does two of those. On top of that, it's going to have incredible regeneration, which it does to an extent. Not quite as much as I would expect, but it does have quite a bit of regeneration in exchange for a never-ending appetite that will eventually kill it as it is designed because, well, it has to starve to death somehow, right? Now, it's mentioned by Bal that the Neurospino is said to have an EMP-grade attack that will disrupt all electronics, base perimeter defenses, all of that fun stuff. It will be able to disable lots of things. A type of astral form projection where it will be able to go to places without physically being there. Kind of like an out-of-body experience and explore areas before it moves into them. Which is a very good tactical maneuver to have. Because you can identify if there's an ambush waiting for you up ahead. Or if it's 
safe to walk by. Granted, you see what is actually there. Now, on top of that, you couple in the ability to speak to all different species, and you have a kind of like hive mind slash mastermind effect where it can work together with all creatures. So we use Astral Projection to go to Spawn Lake, for instance, and then tell your Rex buddies, hey, I see a pack of aloes right here. Or, hey, I see a Hypo Rex over there. Don't go there. It'll get you killed. Complete game changer, right? Or that EMP, being able to disable all electronic equipment. Can you imagine if some of the rifles and weapons use electronic technology and that disables them? What about if a Neuro, Spino, and a Hypo Rex work together? Now, you guys know of the Hypo Rex killing rifle, right? It's like a, a powered rifle. It's, it's a rail gun or some crap. It's supposed to be some crazy piece of technology that is meant to punch through the hard shell of a Hypo and kill it in one hit. Well, if a human has that and they shoot a Hypo with it, the Hypo is done for. Now, what if that... What if that weapon uses a charged particle beam that is controlled by a computer chip or a series of computer chips and then the neurospinal can see the charge coming to kill its hypo friend that it's using as a source of offensive capability and it decides to EMP and that weapon's disabled? Well, you just lost the only weapon that is supposed to be able to take down the hypo rex effectively. Not saying no other weapon can do it, but I'm just saying a railgun slash hypo laser is probably your best bet into killing whatever is out there. But that's my thoughts on it. You guys have seen the information on Discord. That is it for anything and everything related to the Neuro strain. I can't confirm if any of the skill abilities are confirmed or not. I haven't heard anything from Dondi about it, so you guys will have to wait and see. So just the EMP idea, the ability to do the whole out-of-body experience thing, just mark that off as a write-off until you get official evidence or proof from a developer themselves that states otherwise. That's the best thing you could possibly do. As for me, I am going to log out. I'm going to try some different stuff on a different server, and we're going to play the game. Uh, don't kick me. Hey, 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 you'd be nice. You'd be nice. I'll jump up here. Uh, now I'll jump down over here. Hey, hey, be nice. Oh, God. I shouldn't have joined the Chinese server. Oh, I made a mistake joining the server. Oh, I made such a big mistake. No, no, you're gonna kick each other to death. And I'm okay with that. Cause you go, oh, okay. Ooh, ooh, whoa, whoop, ow, oh God. One more kick and I think I'm done for. Mr. Trake, you wanna help me out? Yeah, Mr. Trake. Yeah, I bit it. <laughs> can I can I walk up over this? I can, okay, awesome. Yeah. Yeesh. Oh, what? Are they really kicking the trike, too? Don't do that. That's mean. Yeah. <gasps> oh, my God. So, anyways, welcome back to the aisle. I'm just on this server because it was on a server called DV Test, or whatever you want to call that, and I don't, like, it's all in Chinese. I don't know any of the people here. Maybe just random players I've never met before, but, um, it's, it was called DV Test. Test, test, and I don't know if that means anything at all or if it means nothing at all. That scared the crap out of me. It was moving. Wait, are these on texture now? They are on texture. That's creepy. Anyways, yeah, like I was saying, I just wanted to check this out, see if it was uh, anything different. It doesn't seem like it is anything different. I'm going to see how much health I actually had left. Oh no, I actually had more than I thought. Ah, oh, there we go. I had 20% health left. Okay. Yeah, you guys can see DV test level. I've never seen that map, and, I, like, I don't have access to it because I only have test level, region 2, region 2 test, and, and that's basically it in my settings. So I don't know if that's some kind of different map, if there's anything different about that map in general, or possibly maybe it's just the name that comes up for the map when you use that level. Could be it, too. That's, I mean, that's most likely what it is. So I'm going to move into something else. Now, there is something else I wanted to go over with you guys, and this video footage comes from Jiggy, one of the developers currently working on the aisle. Oh, boy. I messed up. I didn't even realize that the... Yep, I was at the edge of the world. Didn't even... Bye. Yep, that's that's cool. Like I was... Oh, hi, Haram. Okay, I scared off Harambe. That's what actually happened to him. He wasn't killed in the Cincinnati Zoo. No, he, he instead was scared off by a Uteraptor. So... 
I want to go over this footage with you guys. Again, big thank you to Jiggy for giving me a heads up on this. Now, this is still early access stuff. This is still early in development, but the idea behind being able to custom color your dinosaur is something that a lot of people in this community want to see. I, myself, would love to see that. I want to be able to custom color my Utahraptor or my Tyrannosaurus Rex or, hey, even the tribal colors that I have. I think that'd be kind of cool. And then you move into like the Hypo and the Neuro and the Tisso and being able to custom color that as well. I think that also be some really cool stuff. So we're going to go ahead, jump into a lot of the footage that was there for that. Because a lot of you guys are skin nuts. You love seeing custom things in the servers and you love seeing some of the custom color combinations that you can actually get. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and I will see you guys. No, I'm going to I'm gonna talk to you guys as it goes through and give you my ideas actually on thoughts. So, well, I'm technically not, I'm not leaving actually. That makes sense. We're not, well, I don't leave anyways. <laughs> you get the idea. Uh, so there's a new system that's going to be coming in place in the aisle that I've put together. Um, it's the ability to change the color of your dinosaur. I don't know exactly what we're going to do with the functionality of it, but or I guess to the extent that you'll be able to change the colors. But uh, this dinosaur right here has a system in place. Um, you can't access this in the dev kit right now. This is only on my machine sort of thing. Um, but this is kind of a preview of how it's going to work. Um, you'll get your material, and it's going to be using a mask, the base color mask parameter. And this is the thing that you'll be swapping out uh, for your own skins. And uh, Basically, every color here corresponds to a color that you'll be creating a mask of red, green, blue, cyan, magenta, and yellow. Um, black and white's not supported. Um, so what, what's going to be happening is, um, by flipping on and off these colors here, you can kind of see the areas of the texture that have been masked out with different colors. So for the previous skin artists that have made their skins uh, in the previous video that I did, I specifically said to keep all of your colors on their own layers. And this is because it's going to make it a lot easier to convert it to the masking system that's going to be done here. Now, um, the, you can only have up to six colors, which I think definitely is a little bit of a limitation. But you'd be surprised about, you know, look at this skin. It looks pretty good. And even though there's only six colors, then the way that you blend it, it can make it seem like there's actually a lot more. Uh, so, you know, you have to be a little bit inventive here, but we'll, we'll, make, we'll make it work. Um, so, yeah, so you can change it to the colors of whatever you like. Uh, here, let me use... Yeah, so this can be changed to whatever color you'd like. Um, notice that it pretty much only affects the areas that have been masked out. There's sometimes a little bit of bleeding, but generally in the grand scheme of the skin, it probably will look fine. Um... So that's just the example. We're going to be doing the Juvie Giga because Fred did a wonderful job on the original skin. Oh God! Oh God! Something's something's not right with my game. What the what the hell is that? What is that? Oh no! I can't I can't walk up on this. Yeah. What is what's there's something over there, freaking my game out. I want to see what this is. But yeah, that's basically it on that skin system and everything that comes with that. Uh, why is why why you don't that doesn't need to be a thing. It's so weird. Like, do you guys see that? I've never seen that kind of bug before at all. Look at that. I, I feel like I should add a, a seizure warning or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> look at this. I'm gonna run through like this weird fourth wall. Oh crap! It's more solid on this side. Is it coming from over there or over here? I think it's coming from over there. Can we run along it? We can. What the hell is this? I can run into it. That's not healthy, and it's flashing on that side no matter what. And you can't even see anything past the wall, too. That's so weird. There's something up right here, bugging it out. Something didn't load right, or something isn't working correctly. See, what the hell is that? But yeah, that's, that's basically everything. I kind of lied. I didn't do commentary over that because I didn't realize Jiggy was actually talking to... Two, and um, the thing is gone. I feel like it's something from the Cloverfield Paradox, which was a good movie, by the way. You guys should check it out over on Netflix if you have a Netflix account. I would 110% recommend you check that out. Yeah, there's nothing down here. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay, it's back. What the hell? Now it's in a different format. What the hell? 
And other people can see it. Look at this acro. He's like, oh wait, maybe not. I don't, I'm confused. What is this? Probably just some some stretch skin or something. But yeah, that's basically it on the uh, Neuro Spino, if it's a potential thing or coming out. And the skin system. That skin system is obviously still a work in progress. Juvie Rex just got crapped all over. I don't know they're attacking something. There's a trike. There's an acro fighting the trike. Oh, oh, he's going to get stomped. Hello, Baryonyx. What is he doing? Why is he sitting down? Is he going to... Oh, boy. Why are you doing that, Mr. Acro? You're gonna die. Yep, that uh whoa! Okay. Alright, yep, that's uh that's that's a thing apparently. That's that's cool, I guess. Rest in peace, both of you. I've never seen that happen before. But yeah, that's basically it on it all. I wanna know what you guys think in the comments section about the idea of the Neurospino coming to the game. And on top of that, the new skin system. I love the idea of the new skin system, but I really, really hope they don't give us the option to use like fluorescent colors, like, I don't know, super bright pink and yeah, Therizinosaurus and uh, other, like maybe for a Therizinosaurus to be kind of cool actually, but other creatures, maybe not. Why are you, ooh, you're mean. Ooh, you're mean and nasty. Oh, oh God, the berry was a casualty of war. Oh, crap, you can really get a good look at this now. It looks like it goes straight up. There's something right there in the middle that's causing that. I think. Ooh, you got a broken leg. I'm just gonna bite your tail. That's what I'm gonna do. Yep. Yep, it's it's game over, man. Game over. I don't know on your Whoa, what? What just happened to me? Did I get bit by something or does one Therizinosaurus swipe kill you? It must have been a T-Rex that bit me or something. Because Therizinosaurus doesn't kill you that fat. Ooh. Double Dot Tyrannosaurus Rex. I haven't used this yet actually. No, I have, but I haven't messed around with it. Ooh, it's the new model too. Hi. That's cool. Better watch out for people, though. Oh, run, little Ava! <laughs> Look at this guy! <laughs> no, don't bite him! I'm not actually trying to hurt him! Corral him into here. Oh, no, the Uteraptor! Oh, no, why would he? Come here. Come here. It's so, it's so derpy playing as this little guy. <gasps> oh, how could you do that? I feel like there's different blood effects now. I'm seeing like different blood splatter and stuff on creatures when you bite them. Look at this. I can't even, ca I can't catch this guy. It's so derpy. It feels, the, the sub-adult feels more solid playing than any of the other creatures. Did I break his leg? Oh, I'm sorry, little guy. I didn't mean to break your leg. Yeah. Really? It feels really solid playing as this guy. <laughs> this guy, he did it for the motherland. Come here. I think a Rex, yeah, a Rex just killed her friend. Oh, oh, I got you. Hell yeah. He's baited that guy in. I can't even eat the food because it doesn't want to. Hi, you're coming back. Yeah, the Rex kind of decided to kill you. It wasn't me that decided to do that. I did. I bit you like twice, but I, actually I broke your leg too. I'm the reason kind of why you couldn't escape and survive. But I, you know, technically yeah, I, I got you killed. There's no real way around it. Oh, whoa, goo, whoa, 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 okay. How about you don't Mr. Alberto? Oh, Terror Turkey just ran right into that guy. Like he was nothing. <laughs> Oh, why did I choose this guy of all things I could have been? Why did I choose to be this tiny thing? Wait, can I hide inside the hut structure? Yeah! Uh, just run inside. Run inside, little guy. We're okay. They whoa! Whoa, we're not okay. Just, just, just run back inside. Uh, did not expect that to happen. Ooh, okay. We're okay. Let's sit down. We're perfectly fine inside this little hut. If the packy doesn't see us, that is. 
Oh my god. Can they hit us through structures? I hope they can't. Oh, it's so terrifying. There's so many things. Can you imagine being a tribal living inside? Oh my god. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, Mr. Aloe is going to die too. It's terrifying. There's so many of them. Oh my god, he's blocking off the exit. Oh, never mind. Not anymore. Better watch it in here. Can't even see. There we go. Oh my god. Look at how big they are. <laughs> it's like a scared little baby in the room. Stop beating my mother. Oh, Mr. Shant. Oh my god. Uh, 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 no. Anyways, guys, I think that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and the weird editing I did to it because I wanted to. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. As always, leave a like and I will see. Hi. Why are you in here with me? Uh, I was... Oh my god. Did you get... Uh, hi. You, are we all hiding in here? We're just gonna hide away. <laughs> the taco looks so monstrously big now. What the hell? <laughs> ah, no, get out. This is my hidey hole. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Oh, he's gonna bite. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Look at that. I'm smaller than the taco now. I like lean down further than it. <gasps> oh, that's terrifying. Hi. <laughs> All right, in the next video. Where we are, descriptions are hazy. It hasn't helped these hours of pacing.